Good morning guys. Another bit of 3D printing. Well, this should be a pulse motor. Hi guys. Yesterday I made a very rough and ready pulse motor uh, using magnets that come from a magnetic toy that has these little plastic um, bars in it with a magnet in each end. I've stripped out loads of these and got lots of them here. Um, Pulse motor, I had eight of them around the outside edge. Originally, I tried it with a paper clip. But I just couldn't get it straight enough, so I ended up using a needle. That worked. Uh, to run it, we're using the circuit board and solar panel and coil outside of a, out of a solar rocker like that, which is there. And last night when I went to bed, I designed, or before I went to bed, I designed a new 3D printed solar rocker to use the same size magnets. So I printed that out overnight. And today, we'll see if it works. I've designed it to use those parts. So the coil will go there. The wires will go through that slot, the circuit board will sit in there, and the solar panel will just rest on top. So it should sit up like that, and then that sits underneath it, and spins. So these should fit in here. Okay, I want to alternate them north-south, 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 so I found that worked quite well with that one. So I'll do that, put them in, then we need one in the bottom, one in the top. hope that I measured it right for the needle to cut the middle. Yeah, that should be all right. So I'll get on and do that. I'll, we've got eight, eight magnets to go in there, one top and bottom there and put the circuit board in there. The circuit board, if you try and get the coil off the plastic board, you'll probably damage it. I've damaged quite a few. In fact, I demonstrated doing it the other day in one of my videos. So I find the safest thing to do is actually just cut the plastic around it, and leave it stuck to the plastic. You can try heating it, you can try um, surgical spirit, rubbing alcohol, stuff like that to release the glue. And I find nine times out of 10, I probably damage the coil. So nowadays I just cut the plastic around it and then we'll be able to fit that on there. All right, magnets in place. So it now spins. So next is to try and get that in place. I'll trim the rest of the plastic off. So we've just got the um, coil. And we'll stick it just there. Right, there we are. I'll just point out these wires are hair thin. You are very likely to break them very easy to break them. 
I've broken them many times. So the coil is in there, circuit board's there, and the panel is there, those slots, the slots there for the thin wires, and the slot there for the panel wires. So that's it. This can go either way up. I've done it this way up so we can actually see it easily, see the magnets. So we actually want it to be suspended from the magnet on the top rather than the standing on the magnet on the bottom. Well, that looks like it wants to go, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's very satisfying. Yeah. Because I should have shut the door back there. We can hear Nanny chatting away in the background. Sorry about that. Um, right, well, we'll go and put that in the sunshine. I'll go and shut the door first. Well, for demonstration purposes, this is quite convenient. Whilst I was adjusting this, I've actually broken one of the wires. That wire there is broken. Uh, let's take this off out of the way so that doesn't upset me when I'm trying to do the soldering. I'll zoom in a little bit. You may or may not be able to see the wire. That's the wire. Needs to go on that tag just there. The wire itself is actually um, a protective coating on it but if you hold it in the hot solder it does burn the protective coating off so it does solder if you're lucky I'm not sure if that's taken or not and find out if we put this back in place. Mm, don't think that's taken in that case. That's more like it. Yeah, very fine wires. You may want to put some tape over here or something just to make sure you don't accidentally rub against it. Just for comparison, I've turned it over so it's now pivoting on the bottom magnet rather than suspended from the top one. And it's working. I just think it works better the other way up, where it's suspended rather than um, pivoting on the bottom.
do this with one hand? Probably not. Let's put the camera down. start yourself or I'll have to give you a push. Teasing. Oh, I'm too close for the focus anyway. That'll do. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.